Tonight we're hearing from Dinwiddie High School parents who say they're concerned about vaping in schools and potential harm it can cause to students. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joining us in Dinwiddie now with more details on this. Well, I'm here at Dinwiddie High School where some parents say the problem of students using vape pens on campus has gotten out of hand. After they say their concerns weren't heard, I brought them directly to school leaders to see what they're doing to address the problem. You want what's best for your kids and kids are going to make bad decisions and us as parents is to teach them, but the school also is supposed to provide a safe environment. One mother, Tiffany Garrett, and others sharing their concerns tonight about students vaping at Dinwiddie High School. Concerns that Chief Operating Officer of Dinwiddie Schools, Jeff Walters, says is a problem across the country, which is why they're using technology to tackle it. This is the male locker room. See, it automatically popped to that. I'm told these cameras are connected to vape detectors located in 14 bathrooms throughout the school. The devices were installed during the 2021-2022 school year and can detect other things like loud noises and air quality. When the sensor detects vapor, it alerts administrators who then report to the area. However, Garrett says this plan doesn't always work as intended. The vape detectors don't work because essentially you have to be right on top of it because they're not that sensitive and that's just one of the flaws of it. The district says there has been nearly 20 reported incidents where a vape pen was taken this school year. Because vape pens oftentimes lack a smell and are disguised as things like highlighters and pens, Walter says they can be hard to catch compared to marijuana. Anytime there's technology, it's never going to be flawless. There's always going to be issues. Um, but, you know, the, the big thing is, and more important than the technology, I think, is, you know, education. We need to talk to these kids, you know, at home and at school about the, the harm of vapes. Walters adds that these detectors are not installed at middle schools, but they plan on using future funding to change that. In Dinwiddie, Roland Wilson, 8 News.